All right, guys, my fleshing's coming along nicely, but I'm up into the head and neck area now. And this part is a nightmare. It's really difficult to do. So what I'm doing, and I've never done before, because you have all of this right up in the head and neck where everything else fleshes off, comes off nice. Up here, you can see it's still a train wreck. Well, the hide's really thick there. They've got a muscle, a lot of muscle right there. Because you got to remember, these animals fight. They bite each other. And mostly, all the biting goes on the face and the head and the neck. So, they're tough. This skin around here is a lot thicker, and they have a lot more muscle. So, this does not come off so easy with a fleshing knife. At all. So, what I'm trying, I don't know if it'll work or not. But what I'm trying is I'm using my stainless steel mora as gently as I can to get in here. Now, I'm not grabbing the blade. I'm grabbing the spine and pushing. Because somebody's going to say, he grabbed that blade. No. You just use the spine of the knife. And I'm using the sharp part of the blade and just keeping just enough of an angle where I can use it to peel this stuff back and remove it. Definitely not going to be able to get it all. I didn't on the coyote and I didn't on the other coon I have. But if I can thin it out enough, I'm not going to have any problems. The tanning solution is still going to preserve that. It's not going to rot. It's not going to stink. But I just want to basically get up to, you know, these are the ears. Those are the eyes. I'm just basically getting up to the ears. And I'll take as much of this as I can off just with my knife as shallow as possible. Because I don't want to put any extra holes in my pelt up in that area. Just kind of gently scraping off what muscle tissue that I can and cleaning off my knife and rinse and repeat until I'm satisfied. It doesn't have to be perfect, but again, you do need to get off as much as you possibly can. can't get a hold of it but you know stuff like this right here you can tell how dull this mora is getting but stuff like that right there as much of that as I can as I can possibly get off I'm gonna take it all off Got quite a bit right in here. You should be able to see that. I'd like to take some of that off. That's muscle tissue. But I've got to be real gentle because it's right around the ear. And if I get overly aggressive with it, I'm going to tear that. And, you know, that would be tragic. Not the end of the world, but it would still suck. So I can get a little more of this off, possibly. That's better. Now, I can't sharpen my knife. If I sharpen my knife, I'm going to slice right through the hide. Okay? So, in this case, I want it dull. I want it like my fleshing knife. I don't want to cut into the hide. I just want to be able to take off enough of the gunk that I feel comfortable finishing this hide out and feel pretty confident that this is not going to get rotten and stinky. Okay. See that? Not supposed to be there.
So we want to get all of that off, just like so, as much as we can without compromising the face of the animal. Anyway, that's it for this little section of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you like the channel and you like my content, reach over there and ding that notification bell. Select all notifications if you want to be notified when I upload future videos. I guess before that, you should hit the subscription button. But either way, questions, comments, drop them down below. Don't forget to like my video if you like my video. If you want to share them, share them on social media. Share them with friends, whatever. I thank you guys very, very much for watching, for your views and your support, and I'll see you all in the next one.